Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Peaceful Germany campaign for Hearts of Iron 4. This should be quite an interesting episode, and it could well be the final episode. If not, I imagine part 5 would be the final one. So, we're at war with the Allies. The only major remaining power is Sweden. And after that, I think that the only other target I'm going to have to deal with is the Soviet Union. Excuse me, I've uh, had a few bevies to drink before recording. And I'm trying to stop myself from uh, burping in the mic. So <laughs> apologies for that. But leave a like for more Tipsy Alex and more Hearts of Iron 4 on the channel. So I'm going to... Let's, let's try and get this sorted out. I don't really care about the unassigned divisions. Uh, the naval convoys, that's, that's kind of fine. I mean, we're probably going to win the Baltic Sea battles against Sweden. Uh, we're pretty powerful as it is. I've still got my garrison in the British Empire. We must keep control of that. And is that... <laughs> the, the United Kingdom is still holding on to Northern Ireland with Lord Edward Halifax as the leader. Uh, apologies about saying the burping. That's, that's kind of gross, actually. But let's uh, let's get this underway. I'm only going to commit 44 divisions to s the conquest of Sweden as I think that's, that's probably all I need to have. I think everyone's over there, so we have a we have a battle plan. So let's go, uh, and I might as well just conquer this as quickly as possible. The Iranian Communist Authority joined Comitat. You bloody what, man? Uh, okay, so thank you all, by the way, for the continued support in the series. It's, it is very much appreciated. Um, it's always nice to see. Oh bollocks! I tabbed out. I've, I've tabbed out. I've tabbed out. God damn! But I, Whoopsie. Uh, well, now we can see. Um, so it looks like Japan... Oh, Japan's making decent progress against India. Yeah, it's only really a matter of time before the Allies fall. Uh, so we can see that... Let's take... Okay. I might slow this down a bit, just so we can actually ruffle stomps the Swedish, because this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, you go and take Stockholm, please. And I think we'll keep on pushing with the Panzers over here. We'll push you down to Malmo. Uh, you can join in the assault against these fellows. You can just attack them. Uh, so, what? I mean, what we have here is a situation where I'm, I have to fight a war that I didn't really want. In, in t For peace. For peace. I'm sure you can all agree I'm only doing this uh, to have peace in Europe. I only wanted Alsace-Lorraine. And hopefully I'm going to get that. Uh, I wanted to unite the German people. And in doing so, we had to sacrifice almost a million Germans to do it. But I, I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. Oh, well, let's, let's let's get some of these divisions also in. Plop you in there, and then let's get let's get to it, fellas. Let's get to it. Let's let's cross the river. Cross the river. Off we go. Let's keep forcing them back. Let's keep forcing the Swedish forces back, and absolutely annihilate them. So I hope you enjoyed the length of the last episode. It was quite a long one. I think it's about 50 odd minutes so this one may be a similar length depending on how long i can actually record for before my voice actually fails me i was in two minds about whether i should record or not being a little bit tipsy and i'm kind of glad i have because i need to be as productive as possible with the time that i have left because i'm not going to be around i'm probably gonna have to cancel um so by the time this goes out it'll probably be the weekend but i'm probably gonna have to cancel this week's live stream which is it's something that i didn't want to have to do on, on thursday um it's unfortunate, but I have to... At the moment, YouTube has to be a priority for me. Uh, so I'm trying to do whatever I can to make sure the channel does as, as, as well as possible. Um, and... Unfortunately, Twitch at the moment... Um, although I love communicating with you all, I, I need to have a certain amount of energy in... Oh, bollocks! In order to live stream. And at the moment, we better save those divisions. And at the moment, I'm, I feel wiped out after work. Um, so I I don't know how much I'm going to be able to stream the next few days. Um, which is... I don't like cancelling streams. Especially when I got into such a rhythm with it before. Uh, and I love the interaction that I have with, with all of you. Um, it's just... Time. So much time. Oh my. Giddy yard. How much are those are reproducing? It's just infantry equipment. So I might get... 
Inventory equipment and tanks. Uh, so let's... Get as much inventory equipment are being built as possible. So Sweden is about 50% towards capitulation. And they do have a decent um, national unity. Why the hell aren't these guys? Annihilate them! Oh. So I don't know if it's with a new patch or not, but the freaking front line seem absolutely derpy. I think that maybe because we've got him on... Oh. Let's aggressively execute the battle plan. Okay. Let's speed this up to five times again. I just want them to capitulate. They just need to die. Uh, so, in the effort of doing that, let's let's send these divisions up there. Once we unite the forces, I imagine we're going to do okay. Let's just... So that still looks like we're going to... See, I don't know why they're going up there when they're not actually covering the freaking flank. Uh, I'm going to have to slow this down and actually do this manually. Iraqi people state has been puppeted. Uh. So let's isolate those divisions, get them out of the game. Isolate you fellas. Okay, but we need to cut off as many people as possible. I don't need your divisions. I don't need your divisions either. Thank you very much though, I appreciate it. Macho appreciado. So we've got dockyards, so we might as well just get some more heavy cruisers on the go. Our resources are absolutely amazing. So it's many of the Soviets that I'm going to have to worry about. And in terms of like the Axis power compared to the Allies, I think we're almost as powerful as the Comintern. I, I can't... Ooh, this is going to be... <laughs> the war between two great powers. Let's also make sure that we are improving the relations with those fellas. And I think in terms of tanks, we could get the Panzer 3 or I could actually get my decent leopards. Get some decent leopards. Because I'm only going for light tanks. I, if you could let me know, if you actually know the, the differences between the kind of light heavies and mediums, uh, that would be appreciative. As I'm always a bit unsure as to whether which tanks to go for. And more often than not, I always generally go for the... Um, Heavy tanks. Uh, sorry, light tanks. I always go for the light tanks. And I don't know if that's the right decision or not. So if you can let me know. If you if you know, that is. That'd be mucho appreciado. I hope I'm recording. Let's actually just tab out and double check. So I know, I know this is meant to be like a fast-paced one. So when I make progress, I take a little look at what's happening. Um, and I kind of do highlights. But I think of the... Ooh, military factory free. Bloody hell, that's... A lot of infantry equipment to upgrade. Uh, unless we've got a surplus there. We've got a surplus of light tanks. That's going to change. So, let's... Send you up there. really would like to isolate those remaining divisions. But how close are they to capitulation now? They are now 88%. Great. Okay, so we're forcing them back, which is awesome. But Sweden at this point, I really wish you could get them just to just to capitulate because it's it's getting to the stage where it's like it's a foregone conclusion that this is going to be my war. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. I know I've got three military factories at the moment, but let's make sure we're going to keep them because after this, the peace conference is going to happen. That's probably where I'll kind of split off the episodes just to make sure we're. We're all tickety-boo. So Nationalist Spain, they joined the Axis, didn't they? And I've just let Africa happen. I, I'm, I'm not going to get involved down there. I have no desire. 
Okay, let's start the anti turn pack. Because they've already got a war goal against one of our allies, I believe. Um, oh, they're at war... Oh, against Turkey. Would you like to... No. So they don't want to be in the faction right now, but... It looks like somehow Turkey's holding, which is awesome. And we have how many divisions? We have 160 divisions against the Soviet border at the moment. That's quite a powerful force. And we have... Oh, we've only got 770,000 manpower left. Oh, come on, Sweden. You have to be having a giraffe now. They are... India has capitulated. Amazing. So who's even left of the... Yeah. Canada. Good old Canada. Okay. Spread out, keep conquering their territory. I mean, it's really just like come on, Sweden. Just just get over yourself now. Just be conquered. They're overrun, so we're overrunning divisions. And they're actually more fascist, so I don't know why they joined the freaking allies. It's, it's really bloody annoying. I tell you that, sir. I'll tell you that for free. Dispersed industry is done, so let's go on to... Ah, nukes. That's what we need. That's what we need, sirs. Okay, you've got to be close to capitulation now 99 percent. okay so we're basically there uh so once we take a couple more territories i believe they'll capitulate and then we'll do the peace treaty and whatnot there we have it allies defeated i am victorious sweden gives us some tanks lots of planes and lots of other equipment so well, I'm going to do this behind the scenes because otherwise this is going to drag on for a long time and we don't want that. So let's take a little... I'll, I'll do this and then I'll show you what's going on. I am taking Alsace Lorraine though, just FYI, uh, just before I split up the parts. Then, then, uh, there we go. Not, not split up the past, but split up the episode. Okay, so I'm not sure how well we've done on this peace treaty exactly. I, 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 I'm not exactly sure what happened. I had this is the, kind of the first time I've done one by myself. Uh, so I tried to puppet France, but it didn't actually work. So I, I don't actually know. The British Empire, though, have kept all of their territory because it, it didn't seem like I was able to puppet them. So let's take a little look. British Empire has a truce. Okay. They have all the non-aggression packs. So I believe... Are they in the... They're in the Axis. And it looks like Italy. Province of Canada is a puppet of Italy. Okay. So it looks like the British Empire is actually independent. And in terms of... Germany. I don't know that I have we're guaranteeing growth of political party, has other nations as subject states. So we've got Vichy France except no, they're not actually around. Uh, so my puppeting I'm not sure went particularly well. Oh here we go. They're a puppet. So we've got a few puppets. Which is great. So we've got Ah, we do have Vichy France as a puppet. Although, where the heck even are they? I can request their forces, but I don't know that they have any divisions. So they... I don't even know where Vichy France are anymore. Even... What? Oh, for pity's sake. So they're over there. Uh, somehow they kept their own territory, but... You can see that the Axis control... The majority of the world and i'm actually doing the anti turn pact because there can't be peace while we have two major factions in the world so while i i i want peace 
and it looks like Japan is justifying against us. And I don't really know why. So wait, what? So Japan is justifying against us, despite them being in the Axis. So I really have no idea what's going on there. So I'm just going to ignore that, unless they're actually doing a national focus, which is strike the U.S. No, please don't do that. I... Does that mean they have war? When they strike the USA, gains war focus against the free American empire. But if I can get us in a war against the USSR now, because I believe that most of my... We've got 99% equipment and 2.2 million men in the field. I believe... Where's Rommel? Okay. So, your offensive line... Yeah, that's fine. Your offensive line can be... Oh, my bad. We can have a front line with Rommel up the top. And your offensive line can... Be to conquer here. We have a decent front line there. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I don't really need to worry. Because I've got my navy... At least I bloody hope I do. In the Baltic Sea. That should be enough to keep them off me. And we're not bordering unless the... Okay, Finland's independent, so that's great. So we've got this whole army here. We've got another 55 divisions, which we can set on another front line. And your offensive line can be to take the territory down to the Crimea. So this could go to plan. I'm just going to sort out my air force off screen and I'll be back in a sec. So I pretty much, I think I've got enough to go up against the USSR if I want to. So although they'd accept a non-aggression pact, I'm actually going to... Oh, Dawn of the South, American Entente. Really? Okay. Oh. Let's just pause this while this happens. We can invite to faction the free American Empire. Yes. There we go. So we have the Free American Empire on our side now, which is amazing. And but is Canada a, a puppet of? They're a puppet of Italy. Okay. So you can see we pretty much control the entire continent of Africa. We control the vast majority of Asia and pretty much all of North America, which is amazing. So I can cancel the boost popularity there. Not that I need to do much with my political power at the moment now. Anyway, in fact. I mean, I, I, I mean, I could probably change it to. We're on extensive conscription, so service by requirement, which adds another. Yeah, that's fine. So I am going to justify against the USSR, uh, just so we have that option, because as I said. We need to rid ourselves of the Comintern in order to have world peace. And I'm pretty certain once that happens, then we have enough uh, political clout. Or enough, enough. We've had enough war after that, basically. I'm sure you can all agree with me there. Okay, five speed appears to have frozen the game. Let's just give this a moment. Come on. Come on now. Let's just pause this a sec so I can actually get an idea. Plop you there. Plop you there. Plop you there. Plop you there. Oh, we actually have quite a few divisions. Okay, so we got that sorted out. Now it's just pretty much preparing for the inevitable. So nationalist Spain actually managed to take quite a bit of France, and so did Italy. So good for them. Good for them. I actually have these 11 divisions as a garrison, which I don't really need at the moment. Uh, so I'm actually going to set their front. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Let's uh, set your front line against Turkey in case the communists 
managed oh actually turkey's actually holding them back and we have another 63 divisions pretty much in reserve and i'm going to keep them there for now but as you can see our country is quite mighty if i get get off you yeah so i'm pretty happy with what we've done so let's change up to the leopards and you can change up to the leopards. Okay, I think that's it. Then we can change our equipment production. We could get freaking panzers. Might as well do that. Some of that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Anti Soviet pact. Hmm. I'm probably going to go down with the war. War of the USSR. Because I think we can get that done uh, beforehand. And what I might do... I think those are okay divisions. I might actually add in a field hospital and some anti-tank. Just plop them in there. All for the sake of it. Our infantry divisions are pretty good. They've got some support anti-tank, support artillery, and support anti-air. So we'll add those in there. And I believe we're probably missing the anti-air... And if we're going to be having war with the Soviet Union, we should probably get some of that. We only need 3,050. Uh, so let's reduce the amount of motorized we got. Actually, we've got a crap ton of motorized. And I think we're pretty much good from that. We've got a crap ton of anti-tank. Improved artillery is being upgraded. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how things are. Add a ship designer, sure. Might as well use all this political power now. Uh, it's not that I really need to do much with it. Uh, but it's good to just, I guess, use the political power. Boom. Adolf Hitler questions the motives of the Soviet Union. And I think in terms of... Let's get some radar stations, and I think I will get some anti-air just on the border with the Soviet Union, just so we're fully prepared for any attack that may come our way. Infrastructure. Let's upgrade our country. Huzzah! Okay, I think, <laughs> I think that's enough. I can just click on this one and doing this. It's, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> Lots of clickety Ds. Ah, yes. Our conquest in Alsace Lorraine must all be connected with super fast networks. Oh, I greased my puppet. Oh, I forgot about that. How do I actually see who are all my puppets? Uh, military access. Guarantee the independence. Ah, separate states. We've got Vichy France. Belgium, Netherlands, and Greece. Swish. Rockets and nukes. Okay, so we have our divisions prepared against the USSR, and they're moving their entire army away. I'm not going to complain about that. That would actually be very nice indeed. And Turkey, good on you, Turkey. You are pushing the Soviet Union back. And the current wars are the American-Chilean War, which I'm not even going to get involved in. Or the Soviet-Turkish War. Oh, the Soviets have lost so many men. Okay. This could be the end for the Soviet Union. Improved artillery, advanced artillery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we can go for the advanced artillery upgrade. You know, it makes sense. Oh, well, we've got that. I could, I, could, I could get heavy tank divisions. But I don't even know if I'll need them now. We're in 1944, so the Soviets have had time to build up. But they are... Oh, God, they've got a lot of divisions compared to my... Oh, I've got 316 divisions. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And let's start our new national focus. I can befriend Turkey, so I might as well do that. 
available war goal, declare war, annex. And let's let all of that play out. Oh my god. Okay. So it looks like everyone's in. <laughs> the Free American Empire has 276 divisions. Vichy France doesn't have any, so they're useless. Italy doesn't have as many as I thought I'd, uh, thought they would. Uh, okay. Are they going to attack me? And we can invite to a faction Turkey. So we shall, of course, do that. Call to arms. We'll accept their request. I believe our wars have now merged with Turkey. So I will send my reserves... Yep, that's fine. Okay. So we'll send them down to reinforce. And let's get the rest of our divisions moving, methinks. Let's see if we can formula formulate a decent attack. And it looks like we're winning on every single front. At the moment, at least. That's probably going to... Crumbs. Take. Cost me a lot of casualties attacking there. Oh, not as many as I thought it would. Okay. So, they're going to be beset on all sides. And it's going to be... I imagine it's going to be slow going. Oh, but we've isolated... Is that... We've isolated 19 divisions here. Yes, that's what we want. We want to isolate all of those divisions. Van Dabby Dozy. At least at the minute we're winning on all fronts. They've lost 173,000 people already. Decided to attack in winter. Probably not the best idea to do that. So I think our offensive line can be... Down there. Oh, I didn't actually realise. The Japanese... Oh my god, Japan's take. Oh, that's amazing. So there's the Japanese Raj now. Uh, Japan... Oh, that's great. And they've got a lot of... Su oh, oh, God, this is beautiful. I don't really think the Comintern stands a chance. So I'll wait until the rest of my units are ready. But we're moving them down to the front. We wiped out those 20 divisions there, which probably... Oh, that bumped up their casualties a huge amount. Nice. So we've taken 70,000 casualties. That's fine. As long as we can keep the advance going, I'm all good with how many casualties we take. Right. And it looks like down here we can make a difference too. So where are your 11 divisions? Right. Let's actually delete your order here. Okay, so this is for the final line of peace. Oh. Romania, are you serious? Okay, well, we're never going to get on, are we? That's a darn shame. Actually, do you know what? I don't even think you're needed. Let's just plop you in his divisions. Stick you on the front line and get you moving. So, oh, oh move. You go up there. This is going swimmingly. Aha! The power of not fighting against human players. <laughs> okay, so now we've reinforced the border. I let us go.
Oh, that's increasing our casualties quite a bit. But, it looks like... Oh, we're not even winning. Oh, well, you can aggressively execute the plan. It's fine. Doesn't look like you're winning, though. And over here, it looks like... I think I just need to pause the attack. We have the offensive line done? I believe we do. All right, some Has Rumble done all of his? 21 divisions. Yeah, well you can go. Rumble can go too. Rumble's winning on every single front. And then we'll support the main assault with 160 odd divisions. Uh, so Rumble can actually be aggressive. You are always aggressive. And so can you. So again, we're winning on every front. I mean, it's going to cost us a lot of manpower. But it's going to be worth it. The Comintern must be defeated. Oh, you're moving the industry to the Urals, are you? Bloody hell. So they're only... They're 0% towards capitulation. And their national unity is only... Oh. Hang on a sec. Trotsky fought purge, so Trotsky's still alive. Ah! No, it's okay, Hungary. I don't... That, that's fine. So they have to commit so much of their manpower down here because of this additional threat that... Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Japan's going to move in from up here, too. Oh, oh, no wonder we're doing okay on the on the front here, on the western front. Well, technically, this is the western front. Right. How are we doing in terms of production? We are lacking... Okay, well let's pause our assaults. So I think I'm stretching myself a bit too much. Italy wants to send 43 divisions. Sure. Wait, do I actually have divisions... Okay, 210 divisions. <laughs> Assemble! Now where do we have... Why did you give me divisions down here, Italy? That's redonkulous. But I'm going to send your men to the front, and they will probably die. I hope you're okay with that. Legionary Bulgaria wants to send us divisions. Sure. I'll take whatever is given. I'm just throwing men at the front. I, it, it's fine now. And we've done all of the national focuses that we can. Mm. So let's do resistance suppression. Oh, well, yeah, you can go over there. That's the final one. Okay. So we'll wait till we can do another attack. Oh, you look like you're ready to go. So, go, go, go. So they look like they're ready, but in, in fact, they're not. <laughs> um, I think I'm mainly just going to have to support that attack down there. Oh, the British Empire. Lovely naval landing down there, sirs. Good for you. Where are the U.S. troops? Hmm. Okay. Let's improve our anti-air. We've still got a while to go to Moscow. So, at the moment, doesn't look like I'm in too much of dire straits. 
So I'll... Ooh, atomic research is done. Let's get some nuclear reactors, shall we? Oh, nice. I'm going to love me getting some of those. So I'll see you all in a little while. So the uh, the current state of affairs is we've lost 651,000 Germans and the Soviets have lost uh, 1.24 million. And I'm changing my... Ta oh, Italy's actually lost 92,000. I'm expecting that. Hungary's lost 78,000. Brits are fighting well as well. So, But I think in terms of the uh, war score, I'm at 69%. I imagine must, Turkey must have a bit. Who else has some? Yeah, Turkey has 8%. Huh, so it's going it's going alright. I would like it if we were just ruffle stomping the Soviets, but I imagine it's it's you know, it's nineteen forty four. It's not it's not a uh, realistic proposition. So let's push forward once again with all of our divisions. See if we can get to Moscow before nineteen forty five. I think it's kind of unlikely, but if I could take territories like Leningrad and keep pushing back their forces, then I think we've it's going to be a grind. But there we go. The fall of Leningrad. Birthplace of the Russian Revolu Revolution has fallen to advancing German forces. Sporadic fighting can still be heard. I'm also launching an attack up uh, through the Caucasus up towards Stalingrad. So hopefully we'll take that soon enough. Actually, we're actually getting pretty close to Moscow, which I'm... Oh, the fall of Kiev! Capital of the Eurocanian SSR has been... Oh, it, it, captured by the advancing German armies of the Soviet Union. In the Soviet Union. There we go. <laughs> not of the Soviet Union. We're not, we're not of the Soviet Union. Improved anti-tank. And let's get some flax. But that probably is bumping up... Oh, yeah, it's bumping our casualties way high. But I think it's worth it. Uh, and how close are they to capitulating now? They're quite... Oh, wow. They're already 38% towards capitulation. Okay. Well, let's stick some... Uh, shift. Some close air support over Moscow for when we get there. And I think down here in Belarus, we can probably try and get some bombers. Uh, we've still got lots of close air support. Bloody hell. Got some spare fighters, but what I really want... Oh, okay. Afghanistan has accepted the offer to join our faction. D oh, well, I didn't even realise I invited them, but okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome one and all. I think that's it. Just just 98 bombers to bomb Moscow into the ground. It's not a lot, but it's all we've got. <sighs> we've isolated divisions of the Soviets. Make sure to encircle and kill them. The fall of Sevastopol. Okay. With the Black Sea fleet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We've had a huge breakthrough here, it seems. Nice. They still hold the Crimea. But they are not doing well at all. Okay, this is awesome. It looks like we're, we're kind of breaking them on all fronts. Oh, there we go. The British Empire wants to send 35 divisions. How many divisions do you even have, British Empire? Nope. I don't want to deploy planes in East Anglia. No, go away. Thank you. Sure, I'll take whatever divisions you want to give me. I mean, it's not going to be that amazingly helpful, I wouldn't imagine. Because your troops, I imagine, are mostly going to be green. And at this point, I think we've crushed the Soviets quite utterly that nothing can really stop us now. Don't stop me now, because I'm having such a good time. 
I'm having a ball. And I need to stop singing because that's, that's kind of cringe worthy, really, isn't it? So we're forcing our way up, which is what I was aiming to do. Cool. Five speed in 1944 just makes everything lag. Okay, so we've got a crap ton of divisions here. You can hopefully just converse on their population, on their divisions, and utterly annihilate them. We're getting towards... Oh, excuse me. We are getting towards Moscow now, though. Which is awesome. They've lost 2.5 million troops. Which I think is mainly... It must be mainly on this front. I'm surprised, like, in 1944, they haven't done a better job. Oh, how many has that pushed it up to? 2.7 million. Oh, yes. And now they're all joining the attack. We're closing in on Moscow. I think once we take Moscow... I don't know if it'll be enough... But it's worth 50 victory points, and Gorky is worth 10. So we can keep pushing them back. We've taken the majority of their major cities, except for Stalingrad. So, ooh. Let's just plop a couple of divisions down to go for Stalingrad, I think. And we've isolated some more divisions. And is Moscow about to fall? The fall of Moscow. Moscow, Moscow, blah, 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 blah. They are now 80% towards capitulation. Uh, let's just get that. Yeah. So I think if we can take Stalingrad now, that's pretty much all we'll need to do to finish off the Soviets. So it's been, it's been a brutal war, but not ama an amazingly long one. So where is your current objective? Okay, your new offensive line can be there. And all your divisions are going to be assigned. And you're going to go basically but I would like a spearhead if we could towards Stalingrad the Kingdom of Romania declared war on legionary Romania oh so they have 37 divisions against their oh they've actually got a few divisions I uh, I don't at the minute I at least don't need to get them in, but let's call the let's call them in. Okay. Stalingrad is almost mine. Oh yes, come to me. Come under my control, sirs. It's worth thirty victory points. I don't know. I don't. I don't want your expeditionary forces. Oh, I could have taken that. The fall of Stalingrad. Awesome. They are now 97% towards capitulation. <laughs> okay, well let's send you fellas on a road trip to Gorky. But... I think the Soviets are utterly crushed. They've lost 3 million compared to my 1 million. And with that, I think the world can finally have peace. Yeah, the, the Soviets are utterly annihilated. I believe we've probably lost quite a bit of equipment in the field. We're only at 93% equipment, but that's got to be more than the Soviets. We have isolated and destroyed quite a few of their divisions. Yeah, I think I think we outnumber them in terms of divisions just ourselves now. Uh, oh god, I've made the game go slow. Who are we still fighting then? Oh, here, here we go. Another peace treaty. Okay, so what we have done, we have expanded 
and got some uh, growing room for the German Reich. We have also puppeted uh, the Russian Empire. I don't believe they have many divisions at the moment. They don't have any. Uh, so I think that the only war left raging, we've got the Romanian Civil War, uh, which we're not involved in. But I don't really think it matters at the moment. I don't think they'd even want me in the war. Uh, I mean, would they accept? They would not accept. So basically, that is it. That is the campaign done and dusted in four short parts. Congratulations to peaceful Germany. Uh, we have united the world pretty much under the uh, bat. Well, the, the kind of oh dear, under the oh uh, under the Axis banner. Uh, most of the world is controlled uh, by the Axis. Therefore, eternal peace is inevitable. So, hopefully you enjoyed the series. If you did, please do leave a like on this video. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.